एक्सप्रेस ट्रेन ट्रेवल्ड एट एन एवरेज स्पीड ऑफ हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स पर आर स्टॉपिंग फॉर थ्री मिनट्स आफ्टर एवरी सेवेंटी फाइव किलोमीटर्स हाउ लॉन्ग डिड इट टेक टू रीच इट्स डेस्टिनेशन सिक्स हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स फ्रॉम द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट सो साउंड लाइक ए सिंपल क्वेश्चन राइट देर इज एन एक्सप्रेस ट्रेन विच ट्रेवल्स एट ए स्पीड ऑफ हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स पर आर बट इट स्टॉप फॉर थ्री मिनट्स आफ्टर एवरी सेवेंटी फाइव किलोमीटर्स Right, so after traveling every seventy-five kilometers, the train stops for three minutes. Now, how long did it take to reach its destination, six hundred kilometers from the starting point? So basically, it has to cover a distance of six hundred kilometers. So how long will it take? So if you if you just neglect this part, stopping for three minutes after every seventy-five kilometers, for some time, let us neglect this part. So what will the question look like? An express train traveled at an average speed of hundred kilometers per hour. How long will it take to reach its destination, which is six hundred kilometers from the starting point? So speed is given. And distance is given. You have to find out the time. What is time? Time is equal to distance by speed. So 600 kilometers by 100 kilometers per hour, right? Time is equal to distance by speed. So your answer will be six hours. The train will take six hours to cover this distance of 600 kilometers. But then there is a catch here. What is that catch? The train stops for three minutes after every 75 kilometers. So let's include this in our solution now. So so far what we have done is calculated the time taken to travel. now we have to calculate the stoppage time what we have calculated is the travel time let us now find out the stoppage time how do we find out the stoppage time see it stops for 3 minutes it stops for 3 minutes after every 75 kilometers all we have to understand is how many i mean it stops for 3 minutes after every 75 kilometers so we have to find out in this total journey of 600 kilometers see from let's say starting point to the end point which is 600 kilometers in this total journey of 600 kilometers how many 75 kilometers do we have are able to follow from a to b how many 75 kilometers do we have how do you do that 600 by 75 divide the total journey of 600 kilometers by 75 kilometers so how many uh, how many stoppages will we have i mean that's the idea right find out the number of stoppages each stop is going to be for 3 minutes find out the number of stoppages the 600 by 75 is how much 8 so we can say 8 stoppages the number of stoppages is equal to 8 right and at each stop it waits for how many minutes 3 minutes so can we say that the total time is 8 into 3 8 stops at every stop it will wait for 3 minutes you are able to follow why have we done 600 by 75 total distance is 600 km it stops after every 75 km so 600 by 75 is 8 so 8 stops 8 into 3 24 right 24 minutes So six hours is the time to travel. Twenty-four minutes is the time to stop. Your answer should be six hours and twenty-four minutes, which is absolute nonsense, incorrect. Why is it so? Because there actually will only be seven stops. There won't be eight stops, but there will be only seven stoppages. See, understand? It's like this. It stops after seventy-five kilometers. Then it stops after one fifty. Then it stops after two twenty-five. Then it stops after three hundred. And so on. So next, it will stop at three seventy-five. Then it will stop at four fifty. Then it will stop at five twenty-five. Then it will stop at six hundred kilometers. He is asking us to find out how long did it take to reach its destination, which is six hundred kilometers. So when you say eight stoppages, you are also including the stop after six hundred kilometers. You are able to follow. In these eight stoppages, one of the stop is the one that came after six hundred kilometer. But the train has already reached its destination, right? So after reaching this point B, if it waits for three minutes or thirty minutes or three days, why will I worry? Why should we worry? Because it has reached its destination. He is asking us to find out the time to take time that it takes to reach the destination. You getting me? So although you get eight, you should re remove one. So there are not six stops. There are only seven stops, and then it is only twenty-one minutes. I hope all of you have followed this. Right? Do not take eight stops. There are only seven stops because. at the eighth stop it has already reached the destination the eighth stop here the eighth stop here is equal to the 600th kilometer and is it of any concern for us no after reaching 600 kilometer we are not worried about how much time it waits there so we will exclude this only seven stops so your answer will be 6 hours and 21 minutes so though it looks like a simple question many of you had gone wrong right option a 6 hours 21 minutes will be the correct answer